Hey Mighty Marlins and welcome back to music class. This week in music, we are going to be learning all about the four different families that you can find in an orchestra. Let's get started. Instruments in the orchestra are categorized into four different families. Strings, woodwinds, brass, and percussion. Think about some of the similarities that you have with your family members. Do you all like the same sport? Are you all really tall? Is everyone in your family have straight hair? Do they have curly hair? What are some things that make you the same as your family members? So let's get into the qualities and the similarities that instruments have that make them part of the same family. So let's start off with the strings family. Instruments that are part of this family are the violin, the viola, the cello, the double bass, and the harp. These are the instruments you would typically find in the orchestra, but there are other members of the string family as well, such as the guitar, and a lot of people consider the piano to be a string instrument as well. The string family includes musical instruments that have strings and produce a sound when the strings are touched or struck. Next up, we have the woodwind family. Instruments that are part of the woodwind family are the flute, piccolo, oboe, clarinet, the bassoon, and also the saxophone. The instruments in the woodwind family all used to be made of wood, which gives them their name. Today, however, they are made of wood, metal, plastic, or some combination. They are all basically narrow cylinders or pipes with holes, an opening at the bottom end, and a mouthpiece at the top. Our third family is the brass family. And some instruments that are found in this family are the trumpet, the French horn, the trombone, and the tuba. The main difference between brass instruments and other families is how the vibration to create the sound and notes is made. With a brass instrument, the vibration is created by the lips of the musician. By pressing the lips up against the mouthpiece and blowing, a vibration is created. The rest of the horn helps to amplify the noise and create different notes. And lastly, we have the percussion family. Now, when we are normally in music class, most of the instruments we play are considered to be percussion instruments. It could be the xylophone, the drums, the cymbals, the triangle, and the timpani, just to name a few. But there are a lot of other instruments that are a part of the percussion family. It's, it could be wrong, but I think it's one of the, it's the largest instrument family. Percussion instruments make up the largest part of an orchestra. These instruments include any other instruments that make a sound when struck, shaken or scraped. All right, Marlins, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new this week and I hope you learned a little bit about the differences between instruments and the families that they belong in. Thanks for watching.